What's up everybody? I'm at the Midwest Rep Rep Festival and we have Sam Prentice here with tiny bikes. I know. Wow. Isn't this insane? This is insane. Uh, Sam, how are you doing first? I'm doing really well. We're on our Good. final day. Yeah? This is kind of like day three. We had a big Friday here. Of course, I was at open source before that. Then I came into Chicago, so it's been quite a time. And now I'm about to flood a rapid, so it's yeah. really, really crazy. But as you're about to say, tiny bikes. Tiny bikes. Taking over your interview here. Yeah. Here we go. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, tiny bikes tiny is bikes. a really interesting thing. This is uh, this again comes from what we call the Prentice Badly Design Group. Sure. Uh, where I come up with some crazy designs. Normally, when I've had a one or two alcoholic beverages, in this case, and Michael <laughs> then says, "How about you message me tomorrow when you're not drunk?" So, uh, the tiny bike <laughs> is part of a collection of uh, other things called Prince My Ride. Oh. Play on words there, people. Print my um, so Print My Ride is yeah. a collection of ride-on 3D printed machinery. Oh. So and there's gonna be more. There are more. Oh. There's gonna be a go-kart. In fact, we started the go-kart first, Ooh. and then uh, there's iterations that we've gone through on this to add strength to the print, because these are all PLA. Yeah, these are all PLA. All PLA. Nice. So everything's been printed in PLA, and there's a bit of TPU for the tires and yeah. things like that. But on the, what we call the beef bike here. This one. Yeah, it's the beefed up version. It's yeah. vegan free. Uh, it's printed in Polymaker <laughs> PLA, and that was printed on the Prusa Excel. So thanks to Prusa, thanks to Polymaker for sponsoring yeah. this entire project. And the idea of this is, I, you know, PLA is kind of a rudimental. Everyone has PLA, everyone's printed with PLA. It's a very big thing. Yeah. We wanted to try yeah. and do something just simply with PLA before we then go into uh, more exotic filaments, which will maybe add, you know, sure. weight loss and other, you know, strength. Uh, yeah, I can't think of the word. Um, <laughs> We'll weight add, loss and strength works, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll add, we'll add ultimately weight loss and strength to, to this kind of design. Yeah. And um, we've gone through four iterations so far to get to this one. Jeez, so uh, what? So these are like a, early ones, right? What what iteration is this? So that's a version two. This is a version these two. These are version threes. Okay, version three. And threes. that's the version four. And this is a version four. And okay. we're gonna be, there's a couple of things. So this was literally printed and packed into a suitcase. So the testing that we've done nice. here has been done at open source and mainly at Murph, because yeah. we've just had a, it, what it's, Murph it's is, crazy. Murph is one of those events where you can just kind of get away with doing whatever yeah. you <laughs> conceivably safely this is true. want this to is do. True. Um, but of course, in addition to that, this is the, what we're calling the world's first 3D printed foldable e-bike. There you go. So, and the way that these fold, let me show you this real quick. Yeah, come on in. So, what happens here is you will take this out. So there's a pin. There's a pin here. Right here. There's a pin right there. And that folds in on itself. So the tires basically end up here and you can stand it up. This then folds down. Everything pops off. This is, by the way, the potty. And I'm sure like you know. It looks like a potty. My, my so son sense. is learning to use the potty. And this is where we keep all our electrical stuff. stuff. Uh, because this is a PC channel, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. But it all folds, the idea is it folds down and it goes into your bag or your suitcase. Yeah. In my case, this went into the suitcase and obviously I'm doing rapid tomorrow, so it's gonna be packed down yeah. tonight and I'm gonna fly and again, it's using lipos that are TSA safe in this right. case. That doesn't have to be the long-term scenario because uh -huh. if you wanna do five miles on this, yeah. which I'd love someone to do, yeah. um, you know, you're gonna probably need a bigger battery. But yeah, this is certainly, for the last couple so, of days, we've not charged anything until last night. So as far as uh, like the battery goes, you're just using like RC LiPo battery in here, yep. uh, 6S? Uh, I think it's a 4S. Oh, it's a 4S. Yeah, it's a 14, four volt okay. Um, okay. LiPo battery. Now, we've also used uh, Rev Robotics motors yeah, on this. Yeah, and that's the motors we're seeing here, the, the Rev yep. Robotics motors. So Rev Robotics are part of FIRST, so any of the big robots that you see in STEM and schools in the US, yeah. and some in the UK now, uh, they use these types of motors, and we wanted to make it really, really super accessible. So while we're at open source, this guy is kind of like hovering around, and it turns out he's the CEO of Rev Robotics. Robotics yeah. And he's like, why don't we know about this? And I went, well, you know, I did email you, You're like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, well, you know, you and like 200 other people yeah, yeah. inside of that week, because obviously super popular motors, yeah. and you know, they go out of stock or go in and really out of stock fast. really fast. So I wanted yeah. to have one of these bikes here, right. but I couldn't get the motors because the guy who was holding the camera bought them all. 
Uh, yeah. We won't mention any names, Steve. And, but, I, str and I struggle yeah. with that also because uh, you can't get them sent to the UK from the European oh, division. Yeah. So I had to order them sent to Prussia. And <laughs> Prussia then had to send them to me. Yeah. And I'm talking literally the day before. Yeah. In fact, the day uh, because my flight was delayed. So yeah. this might not have happened. Thanks to you, dear sir. Yeah, yeah. So we would have got it across so, the line one way or another, but yeah, you know what so, I mean. So I noticed that if we go over here, and you can bring it in a little bit, Steve, if you want. If we look at uh, like the V2s, yep. you see, right? these had a twist handle. And, and I, I, at Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival, I rode uh, one of these. This one? And it was quite scary. Yep, uh, Because, the, I mean, the, the, the twist handle's cool, but there was no spring return. Nope. So if you fell or... or just pull on, it would go. But generally, if you pull, if you fall, you generally fall backwards yeah, on yeah. this, and you and pull it. You then yeah. pull it. So we saw like Joel yeah. Telling do wheelies and fall off and yeah. get a couple times stuff like yeah. that. But um, it, it, you kind of transition. And the thing is with that, it wasn't even me trying to take other YouTubers out of the yeah. game. <laughs> this was a, this was a natural thing. So yeah. Yeah. now we've got the thumb grip. So we got the thumb grip yeah. now. And this is crazy because it's really rudimental because this is elastic. That's all that is. It's, oh, it's, okay. It's like so basic. Yeah. yeah piece of elastic, you can use elastic band, whatever, yeah. but they're only servo controllers. Now, okay. when we were talking to the guys from River Robotics, they said, well, we've actually got some better equipment that you could be using on that. So I'm nice. like, and I don't, you know. Let's th see what these, we got. These yeah, things yeah. are really detailed. The ESC is programmable. You can plug your computer into it. There's a whole interface yeah. where you can ramp and you can do all sorts of braking and stuff. So, you know, getting to that point, I mean, you've been on this one yeah. and it's, well, it's three times it, faster than these it ones. Is so, it's so fast. We're going to take a ride in a minute, yeah. right? We'll take a ride. But, but like I, I rode this one at Rocky Mountain and it was I was a little bit nervous for a while I actually did like an announcement while I was riding it once yeah. I got comfortable but you let me ride this one last night and I was able to like just slalom through the cones and stuff like that and, and no problem I felt very stable I probably go a little wider on the wheels but you're gonna make the files be able to be adjusted like that right yeah so you know the only the only test that we can really do is again I packed it so you know extending these out doubling that sure maybe making some rigidity around yeah. the because uh, you push down on the on the steering you do, yeah so you know we just want to make it really easy and accessible and fun uh, there is an element of danger but that's kind of my middle name <laughs> it's not um, yeah. but you know what I mean it, it, uh, ultimately if someone does fall off of this. You know, we, I spoke with Ivan Miranda. He yeah. was like, well, you know, put the files out, but don't give the details of the motors. I just want people to be really safe. So when they download it, ultimately they'll be signing a waiver to say that this yeah. is a ridiculous project. But, but you're um, going to, that's that's an important thing here. You're going to put these out open source. Yeah. So people can modify, you can, you're can you going to show them, uh, here's where you can go buy the motors if you want to. Yep. So they have to buy them themselves, right? Yep. But uh, you, they're going to be able to modify. You can make the handlebars taller, shorter, wider, the, everything. And what's super cool about all the projects you're doing on this is that uh, like Death Racers, you put those files out and, and people like Offset Maker Lab, just they run with those things and they make crazy stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. And I can't wait to see where these go, uh, you know, with that, because I think at the next event, if we can get some more of these, it'll be a, a fun parade. Now, I don't know if the next event at Pertopia is going to let us parade them around. So, uh, yeah, so, so I can tell you about that. So before we even did this event, before these were even built, I reached out to Chris and I was like, hey, so uh, what about scooters racing around the event? And he was like, ah, oh, Sam, now what? You know, and of course they embraced Death Races. It's one of the most yeah, popular yeah. events for that. And I think they're gonna absolutely love that. Uh, love the tiny bike. And again, Murph have been brilliant. You know, they've, they've captured loads of film yeah. of us going in and out of things. Yeah. And uh, you know, this is, uh, this is something that's new. We're looking at possibly having a extender part on here, which will carry uh, a little box of filament there you and go. a little little uh, you know adaption yeah, to the back here. I like it. Uh, there's a horn coming. There's a whole bunch of lighting and you stuff. Got as lights well. on there. Yep. There's a whole bunch of other things that we want to. So sort of so it's in the works. Um, and about how long do you know like before the files are going to be ready? So I can. Sure. So the files will be out next week. Next week already. Yep. Okay. Um, there. We'll put a link Michael, in the description below. Yep. So it'll shoot you to Sam's channel. He'll let everybody know when the files are out. Yep. So these are designed with Michael. Um, you know, he does a lot of my a lot of my work for me because. I'm just the entertainment value, of course, and uh, and the crash test dummy in most cases. Yeah. But uh, Michael is an amazing designer. He's very well known for the R2D2 stuff, which of course I was involved with early right. on as well. Um, but working with Michael has just been brilliant, and he does continue to embrace all the crazy stuff that I end up doing: yeah. death braces, 
tiny bike, go-karts, yeah. and more stuff in the future. And we're talking about Michael Badley. We are talking about Michael And I'll Badley. put a link in the description below to his uh, Patreon where you can yep. get tons of files, including this. So he's in the States at the moment. He's, yeah, he's, he's actually he's like two hours away. Two hours yeah, away yeah. at DroidCon. So he's there doing that. Yeah. I'm here doing this. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a good relationship. And uh, I appreciate him immensely. So so to, to kind of cap it off. Yes. Fully, these are fully PLA. Fully PA uh, at the moment. At the moment. Exotic just to test coming to make later. sure it works. Yep. Um, they're, they're, there's a prototype up to number four here. And this is probably going to be the one you release with a couple mods. Yep. And this is 400 pounds. This will take for... Yeah. So we had Nick from Polymaker and Sean right. on his shoulders. And um, I mean, they went slow, but I'm confident they could have gone a lot faster. So, yeah. you know... It was, it's it a lot of fun to drive. It is it, what it is. It's definitely a lot of fun. I know we have some footage of us both driving these this weekend. Yep. We'll insert that while we're talking too. Uh, but it's a ton of fun. These guys were parading them all yesterday. I was super jealous because I didn't have one to ride around with because yeah. someone bought all the motors. But, um, <laughs> but dude, I really appreciate this because you're bringing so much fun and creativity to 3D printing. You're giving us something to do and like the groups and the, and the community around these projects is so cool. Uh, everybody comes together and helps each other and, and you said there's gonna be some cool stuff like the tools that you need will be like kind of underneath the lid and stuff like that. Yep. I just love the idea of an electric scooter. The first, uh, the smallest. Yep. E e scooter is foldable. Foldable, foldable e bike. E scooter. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So or e bike. Yeah. E bike. Yeah. So I think what I need to do is build one, and then build a wagon to pull my son in. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, my son's been on this, and of course, the other thing you can do with that is you. He, you know, he does all my testing for me. Uh, but you can add a remote control element to this. So okay. potentially, you could have blindfolded braces with someone else. I don't know. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. Anyway, yes, there, there is some there's some hidden dangers in this, but you know, ultimately it's a very, very simplistic design. This is a servo controller. Again, we're gonna look to try and upgrade that, have some decent ramping, look at how the e-brakes work and things yeah. like that. But again, it seemingly right now I'm very confident in the product. So yeah. you know it's super fun. It's yeah. it really is a lot of fun. I really love the new drive over the twist. Yep. Um I think that adds a lot of safety too, which oh, yeah. is great. And the whole project is really cool. We'll look forward to being released next next Sweet. week. I'm not sure when this video is going live, but I'll put everything in the description below so you guys can find it. If you want to make an e-bike, uh, if you're going to Printopia, yes. bring one if you make one, um, and we'll have some fun. I'm, I'm definitely going to try to get one done and, and brought with me to Printopia. Yep. They have a big track outside. Maybe they'll let us roll it. Hopefully. I mean, the, cool. the, the Def Races are back, of course, at 3D Printopia as well. Yeah. We've got some big announcements for the 2025 season. Uh, big STEM focus uh, coming into next nice. year. A lot of big support as well. So, again, cool. the Polymaker, Prusa, Bamboo, you know, all these people are involved yeah. with that and they're supporting me, they're supporting what we're trying to build here. Yeah. And again, this is about inspiring people and it's all about the STEM and it's all about the uh, people that want to, awesome. crazy people that want to make these things. So if you want to do it, follow along and let's see what happens. But thank you. Awesome. Dude, thank you. I appreciate Good it. It was to great see to see you. you. Always I'm glad see you're you. here. We'll see you uh, in a couple months at, at Earth or Printopia. Printopia. Yep. Yep. Printopia. And keep bringing this stuff, man. We love this stuff. I can't wait for go karts too. It's going to be amazing. As long as it holds me, I'm good. We're down. You'll be fine. All right, we're fine. fine. Thank you so much for watching. We're here at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival. And don't forget, if you haven't seen this video, check this one out. Yo, yo. Hey, Jimmy, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Jimmy. Uh -uh.